hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about our code igniter login and registration system so now guys as you saw in previous video we have done with this all login registration and authentication check and guys now what we have to do the logout system okay so let's get started with it so as simple let's go to a blog where inside this we'll go to our cache where we are going to set a route so let's call route.php and here we are going to create one route so let's clear create a route with the name called log out with get method get method where is equal to single quotes so inside this i'm going to create one also inside auth folder i'm going to create one log out controller forward slash uh, logout we will tell okay inside this so let's copy this controller name logout controller and create one controller inside your applications folder so let's get back into a controller folder and not here we will create inside the auth folder so let me go inside auth folder and create logout controller dot php let's hit enter logout controller dot php and then the requirements by the code igniter which we can use that so let's get top so just include this codes few things and create your controller class name so let's create class where logout controller same as file name which will extends the ci underscore controller okay and then you have to start coding for it so we are going to check that the authentication also if he is authenticated only then only he should come so as simple what you have used in your user controller to check that authentication so same way you are going to check for logout also so let's copy and paste this so you are going to check this authentication if you are not understanding this what is this authentication is used for please watch out the previous video link is given into the description how we check this authentication okay so now guys let's create a function which is all about the logout so let's copy this logout and then over here public function where logout i am going to set and then open and close and we have to start coding about this so guys now what you have to do is that we have to log out so that log out will be dollar session of unset the user data so we will call unset underscore user data function to unset the session variable so guys what you are going to unset so i'll just show you what we are going to unset is that while logging in you will be setting one uh, thing the session okay so let me click in that login controller so this is our login code so while logging in we are setting something right so let me just come in there okay so we are copying this authenticated so let's copy this if you are not understanding this you can go to our authentication where it is in our model where you can check that it's the same variable where we are checking this so authenticated one we are going to unset it excuse me okay so let's copy this and set the same thing and then one more thing we are going to unset while logging it we have set, set it the variable called auth user so we have to destroy this also so let's copy this and destroy the second thing so whatever you are setting the session while logging it the time you have to destroy and after destroying it you are going to show the message so dollar this of session where you are going to use set underscore flash data function inside this you are going to call the status forward slash and then you are logged out successfully okay and then where you have to go return and redirect to your 
base url to login that's it so once you click on this you'll be logged out okay so guys uh, now let's test this and check with that so let's see the route what you have set this log out okay so let's where will you call this we have to call on our navbar here on this button so let's get back to the navbar so where is a navbar inside our views folder inside the template i have created a file called navbar okay so guys let's set this over here so on this logout button php open php close instead of calling this echo and all we'll use directly base underscore url where you will paste this logout that's it okay so this is directly executed right so if the session is unset that time it will give an error so to cover that we will just use this one okay so let's use this because when it is it will check if authenticated then only show okay so now we will just check with that reload this page okay it's gone so let's make it double equal to false i mean Uh, we can remove this not symbol so we have to just remove that not symbol and double equal to true true okay so when it is true only that time you have to show this let's get back reload the page okay cool so it's working fine so let me click on logout so i'm going to click on logout where you'll be redirected to your login page with the message called you are logged out successfully so to print this message uh, there is on small code to show it i'll just show you on the login page so this is my auth login.php and this is the code to show the message so it's set and yes guys so we have completed that how to make logout system okay so now let me click on this user page you cannot first login admin you cannot log in here first so guys now let us log in and check log with at gmail.com one two three four five six let's click on login cool so you are logged in successfully so you can access the page admin and user page so guys now we will say in the next video if the user is admin he should not be able to access this admin page if the user is admin then only he should be able to access the admin page so guys in this video that's it we will see in next video so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share